Okay, in these examples, um, we're going to be given uh, the formula for a function. Uh, we're going to call that function h in both of these examples. And what we want to do is to find two new functions, f and g, uh, so that um, h is the composition of um, um, g and f. Now, um, you really can't find uh, the formulas uh, for these uh, two new functions, f and g, um, systematically or methodically. Uh, you have to carry out this process of finding these new functions uh, just by inspection or just by um, uh, trial and error. All right, so let's start with this uh, first uh, uh, example, a. So here we have a function named h, and the formula for uh, h is um, 2x plus 3, and then that quantity raised uh, to the 10th power. So again, what I want to find here um, are two functions, uh, f and g, so that um, the formula for h will be the composition of these two functions, um, f and g. So I'm going to have to make up formulas for these functions, f and g, so that when I compose uh, g with f, uh, I'll get the uh, formula for h. All right, so looking at this, um, uh, the formula for the function h, uh, let's just try um, a couple of examples here. So um, uh, a couple of functions. So I'm going to let um, uh, g of x uh, be um, uh, 2x plus 3. And then let's let f of x be uh, x to the 10th power. And that's just uh, suggested to me sort of by uh, uh, the formula here uh, for the function h. All right, so let's test this and see if, um, uh, if this is uh, correct. So let's try composing g with f and see what... Um, and see what we get. So uh, g compose f of x. Remember, we um, uh, find that uh, by uh, feeding the output uh, from the function f uh, as input to the function uh, g. In other words, g compose f of x is going to be g of f of x. Well, f of x is um, x to the 10th power. So this expression uh, means we're going to evaluate uh, g of x to the 10th power, f of x is x to the 10th power, and g of x to the 10th power, well, that would be 2 uh, times x to the 10th power plus uh, 3. Well, that's promising. Uh, that's almost the formula for the function h. See, when we composed uh, g with f, uh, we got um, uh, 2 times x to the 10th power plus 3, but that's not quite what we wanted. Uh, because we need the function, uh, the formula for the function h to be uh, the quantity 2x plus 3 raised to the 10th power, not just 2 times x to the 10th power plus 3. Do you see the difference there? Um, so uh, these two choices for g and f uh, maybe weren't the correct choices. However, uh, it looks like we're pretty close. So what I'm going to do here is just simply um, reverse uh, these two formulas. So let's let... Um, um, g of x uh, be x to the 10th power instead of 2x plus 3. And now let's let f of x be uh, 2x uh, plus 3. And let's see what happens again uh, when we compose g with f uh, in this case. All right, so uh, g compose f of x. That's going to be g of f of x. But now in this case, f of x is uh, 2x, 2x plus 3. So I'm going to substitute 2x plus 3 uh, where I see f of x in this expression. And then g of uh, 2x plus 3, well, we would substitute 2x plus 3, uh, that uh, uh, quantity, uh, in for the input variable x in the formula for the function g. So that would give us uh, 2x plus 3 uh, raised to the uh, 10th power. And, uh, of course, that is... Uh, the correct formula for the function h. So there we did it. Uh, we found these two functions, uh, uh, g of x, x to the 10th power, f of x is 2x plus 3, so that when we compose these two functions in this order, when we calculate g of f of x, um, we get uh, the formula for the function h.
that's what we were seeking to do. This process, by the way, is called decomposition. So I wanted to find two functions whose composition would give me the third function h. In other words, I'm decomposing uh, the formula for the function h into uh, these two uh, simpler uh, function formulas. All right, let's try that process again. So uh, here we're given a second function uh, in part b here, h of x is uh, 1 over 2x plus 3. And so I want to find, again, two functions, g and f, so that when I compose them, in other words, when I calculate g of f of x, g compose f of x, I'll get 1 over uh, 2x plus 3. All right, so in this case, um, let's try the following. I'm going to uh, take g of x to be 1 over x, uh, since the formula for the function h involves taking the reciprocal of a quantity. So let's let g of x be 1 over x. And then I'm going to take um, f of x to be um, 2x plus 3 again, this linear function. All right, and let's see now what happens when we compose uh, these two functions. So let's, set, let's see if h of x is indeed uh, g compose f uh, of x. Well, g compose f of x is going to be g of uh, f of x by definition. Of course, f of x is 2x plus 3. By the way, we chose uh, the formula for f of x. So we have g of 2x plus 3. And um, indeed, g of 2x plus 3, well, that function g will take the reciprocal of its input. So g of 2x plus 3 is going to be 1 over uh, 2x plus 3. And indeed, that's exactly what we wanted. There's the formula for the function h. So if we let g of x be 1 over x and we let f of x be 2x plus 3, then we can decompose uh, the function h uh, as the composition of these two simpler functions, um, g and f.